What's happening, Alex? DC here, Dave. Just a quick video. I just wanted to get up here and share something with you that I picked up last week. I uh, just wanted to let you know about it, just in case you didn't already know about it. Um, yeah, I've just been catching up on watching some people's videos. I just came across your latest video, and then I started to go back and watch a couple of the other videos you had from a few weeks ago. It was uh, the video where you showed your favorite death and thrash metal pieces. Um, I haven't watched the whole thing just yet, but uh, anyway, I saw your shirt, which was exciting in itself, but um, it also reminded me that I picked this up last week, and I thought you might want to know about it, but you may already have it. But anyways, just in case, this is what I picked up. This is, um, it's uh, Possessed and Desecration 12-inch Split Picture Disc, which just came out. It's on the FOAD label. And, um, so, obviously you're familiar with Possess. I'm a long-time Possess fan myself. Um, but the, it also features the band Desecration. And I'm not sure if you know who they were. But, uh, if you don't, they were really, another really great band from the Bay Area. Um, I'm from the Bay Area myself. And, in fact, they were one of the first bands that I heard I, when I discovered all this underground punk and metal music back in 1985 desecration were I, that was one of the first demo tapes that i had bought and then i started to go check them out and see them live in fact that was also the time when i first started playing in bands for the first time i went out and, you know we we were playing shows and playing ruthie's in all the time and and one of the bands we would do a lot of shows with was desecration um as well as bands like death angel and genocide and shit like that but um but Desecration were a great band. They they never really, yeah, they never put out an album. They they only had their 1985 demo. Um, but you know they were one of those bands along with Sacrilege. They just kind of went under the radar and kind of slipped through the cracks. I mean they were pretty popular over here, but I think there's probably a lot of people that have never heard of those two bands. But anyway, but they were Desecration were a great band. And uh, so what this features is, again, one side of possessed material and the other side, uh, desecration. And let's see if I can get it to focus. Um, so what you have here, so first of all, the connection between both bands is that Bob Yoss, uh, the original vocalist, the founding member who sadly passed away. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having some issues here. So he's the guy first guy you see right here and um so he actually was a part of possessed for a moment when uh, mike toraro reformed possessed back in 1990 or 91 or whatever it was and uh so bob was a part of possessed for a moment so he had a stint with them and recorded a demo which is which featured is what is featured here which is uh the 91 demo the martyrs wake and also some rehearsal footage from 91 and 92. And um, on the desecration side, you have their original Psycho demo from 1985, which features Mike Suss on drums. So, of course, Mike Suss, uh, the original possessed drummer. And then also some uh, studio outtakes uh, from 86. I guess they put out a demo in 86. I don't know if I had that demo, but anyway, it's here now. And uh, some really great liner notes. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try to zoom in on that. So what this is, is um, I guess they're calling this a teaser um, since there's they're planning on releasing a CD box set, a kind of a tribute to Bob Yost, um, which is supposedly coming out in the near future but um anyway this is uh it's a really cool piece um so i just wanted to let you know about it okay so here you go here's the picture disc itself the possessed side and then the desecration side cowboys in bondage pretty cool looking picture disc actually I don't really collect many picture discs, but occasionally I do if I see something that well it looks really cool, but mainly if there's it has material that I don't have and it's rare material like this. But anyway, so there you go. 
So hopefully get yourself a copy soon. I would probably get it sooner than later. I mean, I don't know if it's limited edition or not, but you know how it is these days. Everything seems to go out of print within a week of it being released, and then, then you're up on eBay contemplating spending twice or three times what it's actually worth. So <laughs> I've learned the hard way. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's basically it. Hope you're doing well, and uh, yeah, keep making those great videos. I always enjoy watching them. And I'll have to show some of my metal collection. Um, I haven't really shown many records at all from my collection. Uh, only a small handful. Um, and I certainly haven't shown much metal or punk. But I actually plan on doing a whole spotlight video, like do a spotlight video on you know the early to mid-80s hardcore punk and underground metal scene and movement but uh i mean not that i have the most gigantic collection of that music but um it is what it is which is basically that top row here so starting from that first cube all the way over to the end and then there's a bunch of other pieces scattered throughout the room but um but I'll show it someday. And that, I don't know if you picked that up. That's something you definitely want to have in the collection. You being the thrash metal fan that you are. Some really great old school photos in that book. But there you go. Hope you're doing well. And um, see you soon. Bye. And a little bonus piece for you.